We're at Sheikh Shandor Scout Camp in uh, Fillmore, New York, which is one hour southeast of Buffalo, New York. And we're celebrating our 70th anniversary of the Hungarian Scout Association in Mixteris. And we're having a jamboree camp, uh, which uh, is based on a historic theme of uh, Ferenc Rákóczi's freedom fight uh, starting in 1703. In fact, the camp ends in 1703 because, as we know, that freedom fight uh, was lost. But we would prefer to keep it a positive event. So we're starting with a couple of uh, battles that we won and we're leaving it at that so that uh, we end on a positive note for the Scouts in terms of Hungarian history. We all were born here in the States, or I should say we are all Hungarians living outside of Hungary proper. When Hungarian scouting was banned in 1948 uh, by the communists, uh, the Hungarian scout leaders uh, living in the various camps in Germany uh, decided to uh, keep on the tradition of Hungarian scouting and wherever they went all over the world they started troops. In 1989, or I should say 1990, when uh, communism fell in Hungary and the Hungarian scouting movement uh, began again in Hungary. Um, they formed their own association. We became the Scouting Association of Scouts Abroad. We decided to continue this tradition because we, had, we feel that uh, the Hungarians living abroad deserve a chance to stay Hungarian and, and to be a great American citizen by being a hyphenated American. So we're not just Americans, we're Hungarian Americans. We have uh, campers here from just about every continent, so from Asia, from South America, Australia, Europe, and of course uh, North and South America. In order to handle the 700 campers, to make sure the 21,000 meals get prepared, the 377 uh, meal deliveries, uh, we have about, I'd say, 30 people doing actual logistics and about 25 people who are in the kitchen working. Uh, there's a family that's been doing this for over 30 years, strictly on a volunteer basis, multi-generational, and as people marry into the family, they automatically become part of the crew. This is strictly a volunteer basis, so everyone is taking vacation time, uh, time away from work, time away from family, and it is all 100% volunteer work, not only for the time that's here, but also all the preparations, all the teleconferences beforehand, video conferences, uh, Skype conferences that we've had, and people have been preparing this uh, camp for over two years now.